Hey, hey everyone. Today I wanna to show you another really handy feature using the filter function in Excel. It's one of these functions I'm starting to use a lot. So I just wanted to show you an example of how you can filter across multiple tabs and bring back all the information. So you can see in this example below, I've got four tabs from 2021 to 2024. And I've used this formula using the filter function within it to search for everyone whose last name is Brown and bring back that table. Now if I change that from Brown to say King, you can see that the table's been updated. It searches through those four tabs and it brings me back everything in the list. And if you search for something and, and nothing's gonna appear in the list, I'll put a fake name in there. You can put a little comment that comes up instead. In my instance, I've typed in, nothing has come up from this search. So it's a really handy formula. I'll change it back to Smith and let's get started. I'll show you how to build it. Okay, so first things first is let's delete what I have there already and I'll show you how to build this. Okay, so let's start with the filter function, equals filter, open brackets. The array we're going to filter, let's go and select 2024 and select the cells or the range from A to F, comma. And what are we gonna search in? We're gonna search in column D where the last names equal, we'll go back to our summary tab, select B to B1 and close the brackets. And this is gonna filter 2024 for everyone whose last name is Smith. Now I can build this function and you know add another filter and add another filter. It's not gonna quite work. So the first thing we actually have to do is actually combine these tables and put it into one. Now how we're gonna do that is we're going to use what is called the VStack formula. Now this is a new function that's part of Excel I think it came out in 2022, as did the filter function. So if it doesn't quite work for you, you may need to upgrade your Excel or wait for that upgrade to happen. So let's start with the VStack function, equals VStack. We're gonna combine those tabs together so we can filter everything, not just 2024. So we'll select 24 and we'll hold down shift to 2021. Now you can hold down control and select them individually, but this time I've selected shift. and Let's select maybe the first five rows of the table and close the brackets. And now you can see it's actually combined the first five rows of each of those different tabs. But we don't want the first five rows, we want all the rows. But each of these different tabs go down a different number of rows. So we need to make sure that we select the number of rows that we know is gonna go beyond that. So I know that they go down around 200 to 300 rows each. So I'm going to select and go back in the formula. Instead of going from A2 to F6, I'm going to change this to A2 to F300. And now you can see, if I keep scrolling down, it's got all these memberships from 2024, but it gets to a point when there comes up these zeros. And that means that, you know, it's reached the maximum number of rows from 2024, and we've got a bunch of blanks. And that until 2023 happens. So now what we've got to do, we've got to combine the filter function and the VStack function. So we can get rid of those blanks. And then secondly, we want to filter everyone whose last name is Smith. Okay, so to do this, all we need to do is combine those two functions that we've worked on today. So we'll go back into cell A4, where we were building our formula. And we're going to nest in that VStack into a filter function. So equals filter, open bracket. And what's the array we're going to filter? Well, we've already created that. That's that table that we just created there. And now we know, need to know how we're going to filter it. Now we're going to filter it by looking at the same table that we've just created, but we're only going to look in cells from A2 to A300. And we're going to find anything that's blank and we're going to remove it. So we want to filter it to anything that is not blank. And how you do that you do the less than and greater sign, greater than sign, and the double quotation marks, which means nothing, it means there's nothing in there, and close the brackets. Now, if we press enter here, now if you scroll down, and if you remember just around 270, it went to a whole bunch of zeros, but now we've got rid of those zeros and it goes down to 2023. 
and you can see you now we've combined those four tabs into one big table. So there's the first part of this formula. Now all we need to do is filter this total combined table to everyone whose last name is Smith. So the easiest way to do this is continue with this filter function then, and put another condition in. So you remember the first condition that we had, so we filtered that particular combined table and the first condition we had is that there was no blanks in those tables by using that second part. Now to put a second condition into a filter, you need to use the multiply sign or the star sign. So I'll put this first one in brackets and we'll put a multiply sign and open up a new bracket. So the first condition we've already done, the second condition is that that particular table that, we're, that we created, put that table in again. And in this instance, we want to look at column D, so not column A. So we'll go from D2 to D300. And what do we want to find? We want to find everything that equals B1 or the last name of Smith. And we'll close that bracket close the bracket again and press enter. So now you can see that the formula is using the filter, we've combined all those tables using the VStack, we're searching through that VStack table to find anything that's not blank or remove everything that's not blank and we're going to use an AND where you put the star in and we're going to find everything in column D where the last name is Smith or in this instance B1 because that's what we typed in. So I can change that and change that to King. And I'll change it to king and get all the all the kings. But you remember right at the beginning I had the part that if there was a funny name in there and they couldn't find the name in any of those tables, it came up with a little message. But in this instance it comes up with an error. So to change the formula just slightly, before that last bracket you can type in comma and you can see with the little description here it says what do you want to do if it's empty and I'm just going to type in the word nothing in double quotation marks and press enter. So now the formula comes back with nothing if it can't find the name. Type in another name, low, there was nothing there. Type in the name King and you can see it comes up. So hopefully you found this really interesting. I do have another filter function uh, video that you can check out. I'll put the description below and we'll see you next time.